Yes, people, right here, right now, we have a very special guest joining us. He goes by the name of Va, and I'm so looking forward to this interview. And of course, introduce yourself, let the listeners know a little bit about who you are. Uh, my name, Ayana is Va. I love, you know, and then I mean, young artist in the business, you know. But on a different level, on a different level still, you know. I tried the trad and I care for the music. To unite the people the same way, so that is just the mission right now, you know, so. Definitely. Yeah, give thanks to the reasoning. For real. You know what, Va, how did your journey begin? How did it all start for you? Well, I don't, <laughs> as I say, you know, <laughs> as myself, as a, you know, ever living and ever existing one, so the journey starts, you know, from ever since. It starts from our grandparents, it starts from the ones before. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, we're, we're, you know, now I'm a youth born in Portland, Jamaica. That's, you know, my hometown. Mm. You know, and um, since then we've been singing in church, singing at concerts, you know, until we move forward, until, you know, I did some study with music to us, so I do a little, you know, Edit, um, I went to school and studied music because I always love instruments and love music, mm. you know? For real. So I study, I study music, you know, study how to play an instrument, which is the piano, mm. as well as other instruments, you know? Definitely. So to, edu to educate ourselves and, you know, from then, the, the, the whole love for music and the singing and the inspiration, I guess it started out of that journey, you know? Mm. Wow, for real. And you know what? The piano is a very special instrument. Very, um... Yeah, man. The for real. It's like, but very melodical. Acoustic, natural, yeah, yeah, you know. The piano and the guitar and the drums, you know. Yeah, for real. Okay, yeah. I'm yeah. feeling that, for real. We have, we, have, we have to educate yourself about, you know, musical instruments if you sing or you love music, you know. Yeah. You just have to love the whole package of music. The performance, the instruments, everything about it, you know. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You know, speaking of that, the whole musical vibe, the musical energy, tell us about Jamaica and something very special about this beautiful country that I love, Jamaica. Tell us, why is there so much talent coming out of this particular place? Well, I mean, you know, it is simple because of reality. Mm. You understand because the youth them sing what they see, they yeah. sing what you know it inspire them and what, what is around them. Yeah. So the music when so much talent to come forward, it can go the mm. You know? Yeah. Gold need pressure to be refined. Mm. So it, the, it, it's that and you know, that vibration that, that brings forth so much bright spark and so much talent out of Jamaica in this time. We have been, you know, going through the process of being, you know, pushed aside and pressured by the whole system, but we still rise and there is still a lot great more talent to come forward. So I just said go. Yeah. You know? Definitely. And of course, you know, there's lots of different diamonds in the rough. I'm definitely feeling that. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I saw the thing go, man. For real, for real. And you know what? What brought me to you um, was your voice. And I heard this particular album called Revolution, or this song called Revolution. And I wanted to know a little something about that. Yeah. Well, um, I wanted to tell you that yeah, that song. I never really, really, I never really wrote that song. Like you know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, sit down and try to work through it. Like you know, sometimes you get an inspiration with words and melody, and then you have to you know spend time and develop on it. Mm. Revolution was not that kind of song. It just come natural, you know. Yeah. Because I wake, I wake up singing the song. I wake wow. up still in singing the song like I know the song for a long time. Wow. You know, and um, when I was, I remember when I woke up the morning singing the tune, a, br a bridge in my mind, he heard me singing the song for the first time, because this is the first time I'm singing the song. But, you know, sometimes early morning, you know, yeah. that is a good time for me if you get that inspiration then in terms of anything at all. Mm. Any work when I do, the earlier the better for me, you know. Mm. So, 
the song come that time and him hear me singing the song and him say, you record that song? When when you release that song and I said, uh, the song just came to me now. <laughs> wow. And I want to tell you when I when I finish the whole vibration of the song and him, him set up the mic right away, him set up the mic and him take out a little record and him say, record this right now because the energy right. Yeah. You yeah, know, and I did that, and when we finish the song, and we start talking about, we finish talking about the song. Him look on the TV because the TV was playing in the background, and then when I look on the TV, I remember seeing Notre Dame wow. in Paris burning down. Wow! Instantaneously, you know, everything just came on, right? You know, as we finish talking about the tune. So that was like a reminder for me for always remember the vibration and the feeling mm. that comes on that morning when the song came to me wow. out, out of my sleep, you know, when I wake oh, up. So I never I just decided to just release it, you know, and release it to that energy to wearing. You know, sometimes I just don't think I need to promote too much. Mm. So, so some of these songs is not so much to promote it or push it, but it's just to put it out there so it connect with the ones who it naturally connect with. Yeah. Because it's a heavy message. Even for me it's a heavy message within the song. Yeah. You understand me? So we just put it out and let it be and you know from time to time there's a lot of ones coming to me, coming for our writing message, saying to me, say, yo, the song, give them an energy and and feel a vibration from the song, mm. you know. So, are them are them natural, you know, relation? Are them natural um um response there. Yeah. When me feel when when me give thanks for when me see, when me release a song like that, you know. So Definitely. one is connect with it, you know, and understand, you know, the whole thing with the song at the end. Yeah, but you know, Ja was definitely telling you to put that out there because for that to happen just like that. Definite energy. Yeah. Why, sister, I not even know. As I must say, wow. sometimes when you are trying to certain frequencies, certain, certain things manifest. Mm, for real. And you just have to just, sight, yeah, just have to see it for what it is and observe it and move forward within time the same way, you know? Because mm. some things you can't question, some things you just let it be, you know? Definitely. And then, you know, you've had yeah. another great project, Building Bridges alongside Brinsley Ford, yeah. David Carroll. How did that happen? Because what a, what a, Yo, what a trio, man, what a trio. The man <laughs> them just come in and call me and say, oh, you know what, no, me have a song. But more want you sing for and you know. <laughs> I say, well, yeah, you know, me not have nothing to do and at the end of the day, you know. Me love, me love Uncle Brinsley. Uncle Brinsley has been, you know, he has been, through the hoops of reggae music, he has done his work musical mm. and has set a high level and a high standard, you know. So it was an honor for me, if even I and I, to even get the opportunity to share a song with him. Mm. And David Carroll again, you know, as I said, is a bridge, you know, we know through music. Yeah. You understand me? Through the whole music connection now. Him say, yo, I read for energy and, you know, I want to sing a tune in there. Yes, deal with it, you know. Deal yeah. with the business part and we get it done. So I said, go. Definitely. And I hope that people go and check that one out because even that one as well has a very positive but a very forward message about coming together, yeah. being as one. But that is the thing. Right now at the time, we'll be a bill more. Yeah. Unity amongst one another, you understand me? Definitely. Because why, why the world is that it is right now, I just strongly see it wherein it's the bad vibration and the bad relations between I and I as mankind. Mm. Because everything for go on in the earth right now. We look at what is going on in the in the Caribbean island right now with the volcano. Yeah. You understand? We look at what is going on all over the world with this pandemic, everything and other things. Mm. We realize that Mama Earth, she's crying out for love and unity from I and I as human beings, I and I as children of the Almighty. So, a time now for we, you know, bring the unity to the forward, done away with the negative, done away with the differences between each other and find that, that, that common ground. Yeah. We can come together and say, listen to me now, it's time to unite, it's time to unity, it's time to rebuild. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's time to build up. Uh, 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 
and, 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 and build a bridge so that yeah. we can we can get the ones on the other side to come across and overstand what the mission is and what the Almighty made mm -hmm. as the purpose for mankind to try. Yeah. Because you know, you know, I mean, this, and this is the time for that energy right now. You know, I just the time for it. So we have to just know, say, a unity time now. Definitely. And put aside well, the different, the little petty prejudice and the petty things them. We have to get that aside and deal with the real issues at hand so mm -hmm. we can really build that bridge. You oh, understand me? Definitely. I'm, yeah, I'm feeling that one, for real. So, you know, yeah, at the minute, who are you listening to when you turn on your speakers? Who have you got blaring out? Well, <laughs> I listen, listen to music right across the board. Okay. You understand me? Yeah. But, you know, I mean, I find myself listening to a lot of Bob Marley. Mm. And a lot of, you know, Bonnie Wheeler, you mm. know, I know this, I mean, for the past couple of days, especially, you know, love and strength goes out to Bonnie Wheeler family. Yeah. You know, and, you know, even the Bob Marley family too, because the ones them set a high level of message and a high level of music and musicianship. Yeah. And the message, the message even resonate more now more than any time, any other time within the earth, you know. Definitely. So we give thanks to them words that we can still follow the strength nine and nine at these times. And as well, we give thanks to all of the bright spot them who come out of Jamaica right now. Mm. You know, well for all of the reggae artists, them all of the dance hall artists, them, because dance hall is a culture, mm. and that is what makes Jamaica Jamaica. You understand? Yeah. We have the culture, we have the roots. And we have music, it's a vibrant set of people. So, we give thanks to all of the youth them who have come forward with them talent. Because in these times, the music is keeping the people, even being at home. Some don't know what tomorrow is going to be like. Mm. It's a song that lifts up that energy, that gives that motivation, that build that spirit there. Yeah. So, one can hold firm in at this time. And, it, and that song comes in many forms. It comes in I and I roots music. It comes in I and I dance hall music. It comes in I and I jazz music. Mm. It comes in I and I music because it's all the king music. Yeah. You know, it's a message. It's a message. Definitely. So, I can give thanks to all of the talented ones them now, man, who keep the good music coming for the people and for the people that need it. Yeah. You know, we just have to, we just have to, to the ones them. Keep it positive. As much positive you can put in our song, put it in. Yeah. Because that is where the people need to be right now, and the positive. Definitely. You know? For real, for real. Yeah. So, you know, with that being said, what keeps you positive? Yeah. I know you've spoken of music. Life, man. <laughs> life, life. For real. <laughs> Gotta ask if you. you. Life, you have nothing. If, you're not, if you have life, you don't have nothing to worry about, you know? For real. Everything else. It's a possibility. Mm. Everything else is a possibility. You have to put your mind to it and make the move. Yeah. You understand? And, and that is the thing, you know. People have to just give thanks for that right now. Life mm. is a lot of ones pass and gone. There's a lot lose their loved ones. There's a lot lose friends. Yeah. Lose family. Mm. Brother, sister, mother. You understand me? Yeah, man. So the greatest message we can say to them now is, Give thanks for the life for the I have right now. Mm. And celebrate the ones who pass. Nobody staying at the negative and staying at the sadness. Yeah. Give thanks for the journey where them where them trod so far. And if they have to leave the item now, still live on and carry on that good memory, carry on that goodness and that positive vibration how, how, you know, that the one leave in our earth. Mm. And keep the energy up now. It's all about keeping that positive energy. Don't stay at the negative as I've said. Yeah. So just give thanks to life and keep that life and keep that life force and that life energy alive right now. Definitely. Definitely feeling that yeah. one. No one can argue with that. Nobody can argue with that for real. <laughs> you know, one thing I wanted to ask you about um, as well is there's been lots of different talks, lots of discussions about, you know, the safety of women and females in particular around the world actually. Yeah. But, you know, it seems like there's been a lot happening in Jamaica as well, you know, with young females. I wanted to know your opinion um, about it yeah. and how we can how we can stop it. There's there's only one of it. Well, the best way to stop it is the best way to stop it right now mm. is trying to protect lives. Yeah. We're all about we are all about life and the continuity of life. Mm. 
So in this current moment, who female them in danger? Yeah. Who we our women are in danger, and we need to put a bandaid on it right now. Mm -hmm. must, we need to stop it like now. So the best solution I think right now, it's sad to say, but I think women are feeling. It's like the woman have to educate themselves how to defend themselves in this time. Mm. That will help you know, for the youth, the female them. You understand what I mean? I try to say, and yeah. don't take no talk light. Don't take nothing light. If you realize say, you know, no certain energy not right, mm. make somebody know. Yeah. You understand what I mean? I try to say. And at the end of the day, as I say, the woman them need to have things to protect themselves nowadays. Or learn what train themselves up. Who protect themselves from the man? Because for them man, them them not have no them not have no no conscience. It's not like you can talk to some of them because mm. anger and 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 uncontrollable anger is a disease. Mm. These things are sickness within a lot of these men. You understand me? So oh, yeah. so a lot of them you know need help. A lot of a lot of ones going through mental problems and all kind of things. And these things is why it's why a man would look for a woman and kill her. There's no other explanation. You have to have some problem mentally. Mm, definitely. You understand me? So the woman them have to start protect themselves. And we tell all of the man them start protect the woman them around the eye them. Mm. You understand me? Have the sister there where you can where she can depend on the eye. You know what there is reason, but as a brotherly love and brotherly security, the man them have to know so the sister, the female them, our sister them. Yeah, definitely. So we have to build a protect energy there around them. I may I tell the daughter them, you can't surprise, you can't feel no way for daughter decides that she has to learn how to shoot a firearm to defend herself right now. Mm. Or we have to feel no way when she when her life is constantly threatened by them, man. Yeah. Definitely. You understand me, I try to say. For real, for real. So, so me would, me would encourage every daughter, learn some self-defense so a man can choke you. Mm. You understand me? And if you try to put him on for you, defend yourself and floor him too if you have to. Mm. Because if I saw it, I go, I saw it, I go. Definitely. Yeah, man. You understand me, I try to say? For real. And the government need to start with harder punishment. Not even the government, because the Babylon system is what it is. Mm. You understand me? But now for them ones have to start go through some more serious punishment them crying up because you're gonna do that to a lady and then go to prison because they don't have yam tax their money. Mm -mm. Nah. No justice nothing of that. Yeah. Definitely. You know, see it. For real. We learn to forgive, but certain things is unforgivable, every man. Mm. To take another life, what can we forgive? To take a next one life innocently. What 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 is there to forgive? Yeah. Innocently. Mm. Yeah, man. Definitely. You know, so, is that thing? Yeah. For real. You know, you seem like a man who has his head on his shoulders, <laughs> as they say in, in the UK. Well, <laughs> well, at the end of the day, you know, we all are human beings. Uh, yeah. Within the whole journey of being, a, of being a, in this physical state, mm. you know, we have to overstand the I and I. Is all, is all, all, all surrounded. Mm. You understand me? So there, from there is a positive energy, there is a negative energy. Yeah, definitely. And I want, yes, so at the end of the day, sometimes we might fall here and we might fall there, but we always have to remember to stay focused. Mm. Neither too right nor too left, but stay centered and stay grounded. Yeah. Stay, you know, stay right there, right in the balance, mm -hmm. and stay conscious and stay balanced because. That is what, what it is. Yeah, man. Definitely. I'm because feeling when you're able to control, control, yes, control happiness, control sadness. If so not not keep you out of balance, you never get too happy or too sad. Mm. You understand? Yeah. You never get, you just know, stay in that one balance. Mm. Yeah. For real. And you know, one thing about you as well, you're into your farming. And I want to know how that come about, how that happened. Tell us. I want to tell you some sister right you now. I mean, before I come forward up here, come, you know, before I make, make the chat, I'm just make fun. I mean, they leave, they leave the farm and they say, boy, they give thanks to the sister and things that flourish. Mm. You understand in nature, I say, I'm going to tell the item this. If you're within a place, you can plant trees, plant trees, plant fruits, fruit trees. 
because at the end of the day, a lot of these vegetables is have no for nutritional value. Mm. It's the God created fruits. These are the things that carry life within the food and carry healing properties within the food. Mm. So it's not about the fancy food and the pretty things. Uh, <laughs> it's about the real God created plants. These yeah. are the plants we should be, you know, cultivating and planting more of the past. These are the things that will give you health and strength. Yeah. In this time, you know. So, yeah, man, you know, I've been doing the thing, planting a couple of fruit trees, sour sap, yeah. coconut, jackfruit, yeah. banana tree, plant tree. You understand me? Yeah. And there's a whole lot of sour sap, a whole lot of sour sap, and sour orange, orange, pineapple. You understand me? I say. Yeah, man, sounds like, like paradise. Fruit, uh, <laughs> yeah, man, because. When you have them thing there, you know, mm. you never go hungry. Yeah. You understand me? You look at how much how long it take how long it take how long how much how much beer in a cabbage give you. One one big cabbage mm. and for one meal. Yeah. But you look at look up you you look at the avocado tree. <laughs> hundreds of avocado. Yeah, for real. <laughs> you look at the coconut trees, hundreds of coconut. Mm, definitely. You know? So you look on these things, and these are the things that encourage people to plant more, especially within the tropical mm. world, you know, and in Africa, these places. For real. You know, I mean, just like how we go through a health crisis, you can never know. Mm. In time to come, we can go through a food crisis too. So we have to prepare. No matter what Babylon come with, we're ready. Yeah, definitely. Because what, it doesn't matter what, yeah, no matter what, me not hurt. You have to eat. Every day you have to eat. Mm. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So no matter what go on, we have to just make sure say, we secure the food. So just in case, in yeah. time, <laughs> we, have a, we have a meal to share with our family still. You know? For real, definitely. Preparing is always good. And you know... Yeah, man, we have to do that. For, so you're, you've been in the music now for a, bit, a little while, a good while. What has been your yeah. memorable moment so far? Uh, I want a memorable moment there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but the choose one is the choose one is difficult. All right then, you know, two. I mean, I, I really remember every part, our most part of the journey. Okay. And you know, me have to say, me have to say, you know, those days, you know, start acting out mm. when you know the whole fire was burning with the music and you know the days when you have young bloods. Mm. You know, some remember the days when we started my bridging them from school, Pentatouche band. Wow. You understand me? <laughs> and then, you know, we come get a greatest experience again now with Inner the Yard now, where those moments are cherished. I'll cherish those moments. Yeah. You know? So we give thanks for all the journey. I don't have one regret with this music. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And yeah. the thing is, is it because I, I don't really see myself as an artist in you know? I never really see myself as that. Okay. I don't see myself as a man who loves music. Mm. I love sing, you know? For real, for real. <laughs> I love sing. You understand me? And, you know, because we grew up with so much love in our heart, and, you know, we grew up on the teachings mm. and, 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 and the principles yeah. of love and unity. Mm. You understand? I will see it manifest in a Rastafari you know, this time. So we choose Rastafari yeah. as the guiding point. Definitely. You understand? I mean, I try to say. Yeah, man. So, and does that inspire me, you know, mm. to see people coming together and them think them alike with music. So it does inspire me, it inspire me to sing, mm. you know, and anywhere Mr. Me can help people with music, that are my role. So I'm going to see myself as an artist <laughs> like that. Okay. <laughs> because I love the music. <laughs> you know, that's, that's positive as well, you know what I mean? Like, your, head, your head's not swell yet. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, what's next for you? I'm going to my sister, I'm not make no plan. Okay. I'm going to go and give thanks to the earth and just go and, you know, follow the teachings of the Almighty and try to change itself. Mm. Because right now you realize, you know, you're not, you can't make no plan right now. Anything where you do already, just keep on doing that. Yeah. You need to do a plan to the place and I say, yo, I deal with food for the people and for my family and just deal with food because this is the thing there. So I'm not stop do that. Yeah. You overstand me, I try to say, so at that time, you should see me. I mean, it done love music already, so I'm not stuck with that. Yeah. So I'm not a flat. <laughs> <laughs> For that real. That was that way I did it, stay away. I'm not a flat, I'm not a flat. I'm just going to do the things that I love in the earth. 
as I'm saying, no matter what, God give every man the right to enjoy life. Mm. And any work for you to make sure you enjoy it and full joy. Definitely. You overstand me, I try to say, and no man to full joy your work, and you're not work again. You enjoy life. And yeah. you work for the Almighty, set you for do. Mm. <laughs> for real, you for real. You no plan, you know, you just go and do and, you know, mm. full joy life and be merry in a way you do and be joyful, you know. Yeah, man. And you know, yeah, right. what advice can you give to some of the young people out there who are struggling, who are going through some rough times, and across the world? What advice could you give because them? Build your mental. Build, build your mental. Mm. Everything starts with your mind. Yeah. Everything starts with where you feed your energy up on. Yeah. So if you think you're depressed, you start to, you know, you know, see within yourself why you're, why you're depressed. Because... A man, I put overstand to not not out of you. And everything is within you. And so yeah. if you're depressed, it's something within the eye self why you're depressed. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with being depressed. Mm. The greatest thing is to and to overstand why you're depressed. Yeah. And when you overstand why you're depressed, you change the mindset. Mm. And then you change the mindset. A change of mindset becomes a change of action. Yeah. You know. So when one's you know the find say it's like a for, for blame, blame things and blame situations in this time. Mm. It's something where we need to get rid of because I and I, within I and I self, has the power to make any change in the earth. Yeah. Definitely. Put your mind to it. Mm -hmm. So, the ones who are struggling, the ones who are going through hardship, mm. you know, build your mental. Yeah. Look at yourself and know, know what you need to do because no one knows what you really need to do than you. you know? Definitely. You know what you really need to do. You know? Mm. So you do what you really need to do. Strength yourself. Spend more time reading, reading things that will uplift your spirit. Mm. I will tell a one, spend more time in other words, because his imperial majesty tells us that the Bible is the reference. Fine. Yeah. You understand me, I say, and it's not a religious thing, mm. but just read it for knowledge. Yeah. Read it for overstanding. Yeah. And read it for see what You yeah. understand me, I say, for because real. of the rallying fine. Yeah. So build yourself. And spiritual things, build yourself on physical things because I know it's physical tragedy. Mm -hmm. So you have to know what I go on the earth physically. So, you know, build your mental. Definitely. Educate yourself. Mm -hmm. you man, as a Bob Marley say, emancipate you yourself from mental slavery. You have that, that, that power there. Mm -hmm. For so real. So that's the greatest message to the youth. The youth looking at yourself. No man no need to help you do nothing. Mm -hmm. You have the Almighty. You have a conscience, you have wisdom, you have knowledge, and you have overstanding. Look within yourself, change your mindset, do what you have to do. Yeah, man, definitely. You know, that's the greatest message. Because no one can truly help you if you don't want to help yourself. You know? mm. For real. If you don't want to help yourself, no one can truly help you. No matter how much a man help you, and mentally you don't help yourself, you have always need, in need and in need of a help. Mm. The greatest help is from the Almighty, man. He said that, and that is from within yourself. Yeah, man, <laughs> definitely. And you know, yeah, I can't have you on here as Var and with a fantastic voice who loves to sing and not ask you to sing a little something. <laughs> yeah? So would you be up for singing a little something? I've, I'm going to sing a song that I've been singing for the past few days. Okay. I'm up for that. And there's a few lines from it, and it's from the teacher himself. Musical one that I that I really listen to his sound and his music. Okay. And I really admire his musical craft and you know, really love his music. Yeah. And the song goes Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise unto the Holy One of creation. Ay, 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 Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise to the Holy One of Iration. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 That is the message to the one. Yeah. Thanks life. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> yes, you know what? It's been an absolute blessing. You know what? I hope that you have as much, much success in this music business because your voice is nice, for real. We already have some success in life. <laughs> 
have a talent. We have a talent that can never leave us. You yeah, what? Because at the end of the day, you know, I mean, yes, it's good for your brother and sisters to recognize it for your work. Mm. But we don't really look for the true, you know, yeah. recognition from people. For you real. understand me? Yeah, man, definitely. So once you please within yourself and the Almighty, and you have a balance, yeah. your work is well done, man. Definitely. Your work is well done. So for me, you know, we give thanks and give thanks for the success of everyone, right? Or who make it in at this time. And, you know, just yeah. keep doing what you're doing. You understand? Because, I mean, it doesn't matter what we do in life. Mm. I always say to people, it doesn't matter what you do in life. The moment you do it with your all and you put out everything in it, you're successful. Yeah, man. Because you're living in a hundred. Yeah. You overstand me, I say? Yeah, so definitely. So you have that clean energy there, man, you're good. <laughs> yeah, man, for real. When I say successful, yeah. what I'm saying is that you achieve anything that you wish to achieve and want to achieve in yeah. your mind. Yeah, so that's man. what I mean by successful yeah, for yourself, you know? Hey, okay, man, you <laughs> <laughs> it's been a blessing. Thanks.